Over the last 24 hours, we've seen a significant expansion in the infrastructure necessary to distribute the COVID-19 vaccine, namely huge mega sites like the one that opened Wednesday at the Jacob Javits Center, able to handle administering thousands of doses per day. But Dr. Monsef Salawi, the outgoing chief advisor to the outgoing Trump administration's Warp Speed Vaccine Project, offered a much different assessment Wednesday while speaking at J.P. Morgan annual health care conference where things need to improve is in the capacity of the healthcare system in general without getting into the politics so we need to improve the speed with which we are able to deliver these vaccines. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio says the federal government's current allotment of 300 to 350,000 doses per week simply isn't going to cut it. Even with the normal uh, supplies that we expect to have delivered next week, we will run out of vaccine at some point next week unless we get a major new resupply. There's also added pressure to deliver based on expanded eligibility. In New Jersey, anyone 65 or older, those with chronic health conditions and smokers are now eligible. Dr. Stephanie Silvera, professor and epidemiologist at Montclair State University, says the big picture goal is easing the burden inside hospitals. And we know that those individuals with pre-existing conditions and as controversial as it may seem, smokers are more likely to be hospitalized. And because nothing is easy when it comes to the coronavirus pandemic, health officials are now monitoring the expected spread of at least one new variant of the virus, confirmed in two New York City-based patients, both of whom have a history of travel to the UK. Dr. Silvera says once again, the ultimate concern is the more transmissible variants domino effect on hospitalizations. When our hospitals are overburdened with COVID cases, that has an impact on non-COVID illnesses and conditions as well. People are more likely to put off being screened for cancer, having their cancer treated. Um, it might have an impact on having access to ventilators for people with heart conditions and post-stroke. The latest daily numbers in New York City alone are promising. Just under 29,000 people inoculated. There are two dozen mega sites that are already open and by this weekend all five boroughs should have hubs up and running we're live at the javits center tonight jay dow pix 11 news all right